Hey everyone, welcome back. So I um, just want to create one small video because um, if you remember uh, in last video, not uh, I think part 12, where we did some changes in our import and where we have added uh, IntelliSense in our Cucumber uh, feature file, where if you remember, uh, I have updated a few import the way we are importing right so earlier we used to have lots of dot and later we imported we have changed few settings and we made our import to write from a start from the src that means our root folder and we we removed all the dots here and we made it src pages i missed few settings there in the video so i just wanted to cover now but before that let's see i i just realized there are other files where i have missed to you know update this import so let's see one by one all the files and then see if something is missing we'll update there first so let's see here okay this is correct mm -hmm, this is correct let's check one by one uh, this is also correct and this also correct we have from src and then let's check in few other files like uh, pages so in the pages if you see um, the imports this looks correct and then register and in register uh, you see it is dot dot is there so let's remove the dot dot and update from src so what i'll do i'll just delete this src slash utils slash commands so yeah There is error. We are going to fix this because in the last video we have upgraded our framework um, from 7.6 to 9. That I'll talk in the next video. But in this video, let's focus on fixing this import. And um, then in the secure page, not required. In user page, uh, yeah, here as well. So here also we need to import properly. So let's fix this as well. SRC. And then enum API calls for this as well src utils commands so yeah there's no dot dots here everywhere it is if you see here is um, like uh, starting from the src that means this root project folder right so we have updated the import and now if you run our you know any feature file you'll get some error so just let me show you what was the mistake what is the issue here so suppose i want to run this wait example feature file okay i just want to run and show you what error we are getting and how to fix that so to target only one feature file what i'll say npm test and hyphen 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 spec i've already explained in the old videos how why how to run this any specific feature file so npm test hyphen hyphen space hyphen hyphen space spec and the you know folder path of this or file path of this latex so it is under test features and then file name so i'll say dot slash test slash features that is this folder here and then this is a file name so okay something's wrong here features and then wait x dot feature so it will run only this feature file and once you try to run this you'll get an error let's check what we are getting so it's trying to load and it will fail here so if you see it did not execute and there is failure let's see what exactly the failure is so if you notice here you'll get something like this error mm -hmm. if you find exactly here cannot find a module it is not able to find this module so you will also get this error uh, when you will see the video 13 i guess in the playlist so to fix that you need to install one dependency first okay because normally this part normal it will not be able to read so for that there is dependency you need to download that so it is called npm so npm install ts name is ts config paths this is the dependencies name okay the name will be not ts hyphen config ts config hyphen paths so this is the dependency name and i'll download as development dependency so hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev so let's install this okay so the dependency is downloaded now the other thing what you have to do is 
have to go to in wdi config.js file and here so if we scroll from if you are in the top you need to scroll down to the section called cucumber ops if you keep on scrolling you will find somewhere here cucumber ops in this place you will find a require model section okay a require model section there in this square bracket double quote you need to say ts config hyphen paths slash register just type this here update here ts config slash paths register and save it and now if you run the same file now it will work perfectly fine so let me rerun again and show you yeah so now if you see it is trying to load the url so that means our import is working fine now the issue that we had we have fixed it and it will work yeah so it worked and that's it for this video thank you so much